What's up fam? It's your girl Dom back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install your very own dance fitness pole at home. If you've ever taken a dance fitness class and wanted to practice at home but didn't know how to install your pole, this video is for you, so stay tuned. you guys are wondering I have the popcorn or the spongy cake ceiling so if your ceiling looks like mine you will have no problems this pole works perfectly fine and it does not damage the ceiling whatsoever the type of pole that I'm using is the AV portable dance pole and it comes with the regular circular base um, this is what comes in the box. You have your two regular poles right here, the top and the bottom, and then you have all of your extensions along with the tool kit that comes with the tighteners, fasteners, and your screws. Do not lose these because it will be impossible to set up your pole without them. And it also comes with the user manual. The manual basically goes into detail on what parts come in the box, basically what I just explained. Top base, bottom base, your poles, and all of your extensions. It also has a detailed description on what type of extensions you might need based on your um, ceiling length or height, sorry. Um, mine is an eight foot ceiling, so I'm gonna be using this one right here. But if you have a higher ceiling, you might need to use the additional extensions. Now, here it just talks about step-by-step step what you're gonna do to set up the pole. I know a lot of, um, Things don't come with the manual or a DVD, but this one does. So we're just gonna go ahead and run through how to set up this pole in addition to how to take the pole down as well. Okay, so let's get started. So this is everything that was in the box. We have our bottom base right here. This is the bottom adapter. This is the actual bottom pole right here. Then we have the cover. This is the upper pole. We have our upper adapter right in here. And then the upper base is right there. Now this one over here on the side is a, an extension for those of you who have higher ceilings. I don't, so I don't need it. So it is off to the side. Now it is very important that when you're setting up your pole, you have a six foot radius in all directions. Since I have a window over there, I do not want it over there in case I didn't tighten it uh, enough and I have a mishap and it falls. I don't want to break my window so i'm going to have it actually right over here in this area because i have a lot of distance here with my hardwood floors as you guys can see i do have a tv right here but that's going to get pushed back this way and then so is my couch is going to be pushed that way as well that way i have more distance on each side i just don't want to do it right now <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and set this bad boy up the way I like to set up my poles, I like to start with assembling the entire bottom half, assembling the top half, matching them together, and then extending it so it reaches my ceiling. Know that this is the base. As you see that little Y right there? Don't mind my camera. But yeah, that's how you know it's the base, this right here. And you want to align your pole. These little, these little holes right here, these are the fastening um, screw locations. You want to make sure that they align with that Y. The reason is on this little base right here, you see these little divots. This is what keeps your pole in static mode. And then when you undo those screws, that's when you put it in spin mode. But you want to make sure that this stuff is aligned with these holes right here. That way, when you're in static mode, you don't go slipping all over the place. So, sorry, I should probably should show you. So. You way, the way you can tell that this is the bottom half for the adapter is you see these little bearings right here. They fit perfectly on this thing right here. If you flip it upside down, this is a little bit too big and there's no um, other bearings to keep it in spin mode. So that's how you know this is, this is the top. And then this one right here is the bottom. We're going to attach the adapter piece to the lower pole end. Now, um, this piece right here attaches to this right there. And the side with the bearings is the side that attaches to here. 
because these bearings are what keep it in spin mode versus if you try to do it the other way, this hole is too big for this. See, that doesn't fit, but it fits right there perfectly. So what we do to attach this, go ahead and plop that on. This, this little washer right here basically gives this part tension. It'll keep this half from unscrewing down here, which is gonna be a disaster. So once you put that on, you wanna make sure, I don't know if you can see this, those little holes in there, hold on, let's see, there we go. They align just perfectly, there we go. And once you have that aligned, you want to put these little screws, little fasteners in there so it holds it in place. So I can't screw and hold the camera at the same time, so bear with me. And then do the other side. Don't forget, we have this little tool here. It is part Allen wrench, part Phillips screw head. And it should fit nice and flush. It should not protrude out at all. If it does, you are doing it incorrectly. All right, so you don't wanna over tighten because you don't wanna strip neither the screw or the thread. So be very cautious about that. See, you see how that's coming undone? All right, so this is closed. See, there's no gap here. Now it's, this is what's gonna extend or shorten the pole. But you might be thinking, okay, but how do we, how do we cover this up? Because that just looks ugly. We didn't put the cover on. So the cover is the next step. Now, you can't just put the cover on any old type of way. So as you can see right here, this part is not threaded, but this part is. Do you, can you see that? See that thread? That thread uh, matches this thread. So the cover should go like that, right? So you're gonna cover all of this ugly spots. Go ahead that on see how nicely that works and you're gonna tighten it boom now it looks good then you can put that on the base there you go and again you want to make sure that the screws on the bottom right here align with the Y that's on the bottom of the thing. Get that in for you guys. Can you guys see that? Can you see the Y? There you go. You want it to be aligned just like that. And then you want to fasten it with your little screws. So that's what we're going to do. You want to make sure that they're super tight because when we're assembling our pole, we want to make sure that it's in static mode because if things are moving around it's not going to be nice it's going to be too difficult all right perfect now let's go ahead and assemble the top half okay now we're going to start assembling the top half of the pole so the inside is threaded that's going to meet this little extension now i need this extension because um, my ceiling is not short enough for just pole B and then pole A together, so I have to add my extension. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm going to attach the extension to the base first, and I mean, I'm sorry, to the top base. And you know, this one is correct because it has this little thing right here. That's how you know this is the top. The bottom one doesn't have that. Okay, so. 
go ahead and put that bad boy on. Assembling the top is very straightforward. Get it as tight as you can with your hand. And then, sorry, just attach the other pole. See? Get it as tight as you can with your hand. And then we're gonna move to attach these both together and then extend it to the ceiling. Okay, so these are my two pole pieces put together. We have our bottom half. The bottom half is a little bit longer than the top. So the bottom right here, this one is the female, and then we have the male, which is on top. Ugh, patriarchy. And then we're, we're just going to attach them together. My bottom one is a little too high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one shorter. So we have to detach the cover from the bottom half. We have to slide this down. Because remember, this is what's keeping this one from screwing down. And I'm going to screw down to meet it until I can't go anymore. See how that's closing the gap? Boom, now it's done. Now. Hopefully this is enough to attach the top half to the ceiling. If not, you know, I'm just gonna play it safe. And I'm gonna just unscrew this a little more. That way I know for sure. I have some, um, some room to extend up. I'm just gonna meet it, tighten it. I'm not gonna close this right now, just in case I have to adjust it again. Now, I'm gonna bring you guys back up here. And I'm actually gonna tilt the camera up so you can see what I'm doing. I feel like that should be fine. Okay. So we're gonna match the male to female again. All right, and I have clearance. As you guys can see, it's not touching my ceiling yet. So we're gonna screw this down. So the two poles connect. Make it super, super tight. Okay. Now, you guys can see that little gap right there. That means what I could do is let's unscrew this. I'm sorry. I can't do this with one hand. There we go. Bring this down and I'm gonna extend up. So I'm increasing this space right here until the gap in my ceiling is closed. So, not wobbling right now, but that's okay. I'm just going to extend until that space seals. So I'm twisting to the right. a screenshot of where the screw was when I started versus where it's at. Okay, so I'm making contact with the ceiling. I'm just going to keep tightening until I feel like it has enough contact to hold my body weight. Okay, 
I physically cannot tighten it anymore. So, I'll show you guys. It is full contact. And now you can see how much higher I extended it. So, we have to meet this washer all the way up because this is gonna stop it from this screwing down. And then we're going to meet the cover with it and we're going to close the gap. Okay. So, this is your pole. Again, my ceiling is eight feet tall. So, I only used um, one extension, which is the small one all the way at the top. That's the extension. This is the upper pole, lower pole, cover adapter, and the base. Now, this is in static mode. To get it into spin mode, you have to unfasten, sorry unfasten the little screws down here that align with that Y. Okay, now that we have both the screws out, it's in spin mode. Now it's very important not to lose these screws, otherwise you won't be able to have it in static mode anymore. In order to take down the pole, it needs to be in static mode. So you have to install the screws at the bottom again. And that's how we take down our pole. <laughs>